Four people have been arrested after the Turkish exchange. Vibitcoin closes its doors. The arrested employees include directors who have been suspected of fraud. We have a lot of uh, crypto legal ban arrest news coming out of Turkey. And uh, this is a volatile situation that's going on in Turkey right now with regards to uh, cryptocurrency. Um, a countrywide cryptocurrency ban is coming. That was announced the other day. Multiple Turkish exchanges have now come under investigation. And we have four employees of the recently closed down Vebitcoin exchange arrested in uh, allegations of fraud. So Vebitcoin has announced that it'll be ceasing operations in a short statement posted on its website, claiming that unspecified financial strain led to the decision possibly caused by an unusually high number of withdrawals leading up to Turkey's forthcoming cryptocurrency ban. This is what the company said, quote, we have decided to cease our activities in order to fulfill all regulations and claims. The exchange was among the largest in Turkey with nearly 60 million in daily volume, with Bitcoin accounting for half of the trading activity. Now, um, the Mugla chief public prosecutor, Mehmed Nadir, Yagchi announced in a statement to local media that four employees of this exchange have now been detained by law enforcement following allegations of fraud. So it's not so simple as just um, closing down the exchange and dealing with uh, people's accounts because of the upcoming cryptocurrency ban that was announced in Turkey. There may be something more to this, or maybe this is a witch hunt of these guys. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how this story shakes out. But uh, you have four people from that Bitcoin who have uh, been arrested and have been charged with fraud. And this follows after we've had this uh, Thodex, this other exchange called Thodex, which uh, appears to have swindled uh, investors in Turkey with worth hundreds of millions, maybe billions of uh of assets, of cryptocurrency assets. So these guys, Thodex, announced a halt to all trading amid reports of a police raid. And the founder of the exchange fled to Albania. The police have issued 75 arrest war warrants and they have detained 62 people in connection with this possible exit scam. Now, this story is the, the Vebitcoin. I think we need to let it play out a little. I don't know. I still don't know if the Vebitcoin is about the Turkish government under Erdogan just cracking down on exchanges and maybe they're looking to make example an example of Vebitcoin or if Vebitcoin just couldn't deal with everyone pulling their money out of the exchange and they just became insolvent and I don't know, the, the government stepped in. I just don't know what's going on or if there was fraud. We just don't know. We'll wait and see what's going on there. But Thodex, I think this was uh, this evidently a clear-cut case of fraud and that this guy that was running this Thodex exchange bolted with hundreds of millions, if not billions, of, uh, of dollars of assets, of cryptocurrency assets. Now, um, Bloomberg reported that Thodex, which is uh, the Turkey-based crypto exchange, ceased trading citing unspecified partnership transactions. The platform was founded in 2017. And the message that Thodex sent out, the initial message that they sent out, uh, reassured customers that they shouldn't worry about their funds. Well, they should have worried about their funds. <laughs> Look at this tweet from, uh, from Fedas Crypto. And he says, a local crypto exchange where, I'd, where I had 20% of my entire trading capital got the rug pulled. 20 days, no withdrawal, fiat and crypto. Then the website went offline. Then the CEO run abroad. I'm not broke, but it hurts a lot. It sucks even when you deal with regulated exchanges. So Thodex was a regulated exchange, I guess. Uh, we have started the legal procedures and lodged the complaint at the prosecutor's office, a lawyer for some investors said. Prosecutors were investigating the businessman on charges of aggravated fraud and founding a criminal organization. <laughs> wow. So the, uh, the exchange's chief executive officer and founder, Farouk Fatih Ozer, fled Turkey. 
They say he is in Albania. Here's a photo of him from, uh, from the airport, which they snapped from Istanbul air airport on his way to Albania. They say he is in Albania at the moment. There are reports saying that he may actually be in Thailand instead. I don't know. Uh, the Turkish government has contacted the Albanian government and they want him back. He has sent a couple of messages, this guy, and he's kind of changed his tune throughout the messages. And I'll, uh, I'll read you what he has said. He speculated that the funds on the Turkish exchange could be worth hundreds of millions of dollars. This is what Turkish authorities say as the exchange had 391,000 users. According to another report, Thodex CEO and founder has run away to Thailand with an estimated amount of roughly 2 billion. So we don't really know, I guess. He either took hundreds of millions or 2 billion. He's either in Albania or he's in Thailand. Thailand, okay, makes sense, but Albania makes a lot of sense. Albania has, maybe not so much sense now, Albania has very close relations with Turkey. So maybe that wasn't his best move. I don't know. But this guy bolted. That's for damn sure. Um, let's see here. In a message on the company's Twitter account, Ozer said he was abroad for meetings with foreign investors and would return home in a few days and cooperate with, with judicial authorities so that the truth can come out. Other tweets that he sent and other messages that he sent show that this was a complete lie. So he wasn't meeting with investors and I don't think he's uh, planning to come back. The, uh, the other messages that uh, this guy said, let, let me get to the other messages that this guy said, are this. I was born as one of three siblings of a civil servant, Ozer said in a statement, adding that he's a high school dropout as the company ran into financial trouble. He said he thought about either committing suicide or giving himself up to authorities, but both of these options meant clients' assets would never be retrieved. So I decided to stay alive and fight, work and repay my debts to you, he said. The day I repay all my debt, I will return to my country and give myself into justice. So in, in short, he's not. He's going to try to not return to his country. <laughs> so, okay, so his first statement was um, he's in a meeting in Albania speaking with investors and he'll be returning to Turkey shortly and uh, the truth will come out. And then he changed his tune and he plays the victim card. I was born one of three siblings. My father was a civil servant, blah, blah, blah. And, um, you know, I'm going to work hard now and make things right. And I'm going to repay all my debts to all the investors, all $2 billion of the debt. <laughs> and then he'll return back to Turkey. So, yeah, this guy is, uh, if, if they don't find him in Albania or Thailand, then this guy's disappeared. If he's in Albania, they're going to get him. If he's in Thailand, I don't know. I just don't know. Anyway, guys, that's the latest from this. Uh, a lot of cryptocurrency news from Turkey. Not all good. And a lot of this may have played a small role, a small role in uh, Bitcoin's uh, price drop and Bitcoin's price adjustment. I don't think it played a huge role, but it, may, it, it, added, it, it added to a little bit of the uncertainty and maybe a little bit to the sell-off. Um, I don't think it played a huge role, but... Maybe a little bit. Either way, it's a real volatile situation in Turkey right now with regards to their economy and with the lira. And uh, the government is going full speed ahead with cracking down on cryptocurrency exchanges. They're looking for money and they want uh, they don't want people to pull out their money from the Turkish banks and move it, move it into assets like gold, silver stocks and, of course, cryptocurrency, because if uh, if that money gets pulled from banks then I'm going to then I'm sure we're going to see a lot of banks crumble and uh, that would be the end for the Turkish economy. That's the that would be the domino effect that will that will send the Turkish economy into a complete tailspin. So it looks like uh, the Turkish authorities are doing everything they can to make sure that people's money stays in lira and stays inside of the banks. So cryptocurrency, Bitcoin uh, exchanges, cryptocurrency exchanges are an easy target. I think that's what's going on in the uh, Thodex. Is that what it's called? The the Thodex case. Sorry, the Web, the Vbitcoin case. I think that's what's going on in the Vbitcoin case. And the Thodex case, well, it's fraud. It looks like this guy scammed people. Terrible thing. I hope they catch him. And uh, I hope, uh, yeah, justice is served there because 
That's a terrible thing that he did. Anyway, guys, that's the video. Go to the Durant shop, use the code real news, get 10% off anything you purchase from the Durant shop. Link down below. Check out Alexander's channel. Check out the Durant's main channel as well. Those links are down below. Take care.